Eric, hey, do you want me to get the garage door? Yeah, please. Okay. I thought I could get through here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my name is Chris Meyer, I'm the founder of Sector 67. Uh, welcome to our shop, we'll kind of take you through for a quick walk around so you can see what's here, some of the tools and equipment around. We haven't made any efforts at cleaning up, so this is kind of what it looks like on a daily basis. Uh, we've got a couple of cool things in the shop this week. There's a Futurama spaceship uh, which got made and run in the Red Bull Challenge. There's a welding shop in here, so we do some welding, grinding, cutting. Uh, this space is exhausted outside, so we take good care of our members and are able to have a lot of really cool tools and a lot of cool projects built in here. Screw if you want to grab some scrap. Uh, yeah. Looks good. Okay, it says it exceeds the Z travel. Yeah, I, I uh, put in another place. Okay. Yeah, we can. Um, you want to punch holes in that? Yeah, exactly. We just well, no, we can just screw down. All you need is a little, uh, little corner spanner, okay. and we can screw down on that, and it should be fine. And it definitely fits, so it's good. So we do the same thing with the Y. So we know the Y max travel is 1.09 inches. So if we go up to the top edge, and we set this at 1.09. That'll get us our zero where it should be. All right, I think we're good now. So, slow down the feed rate and hit go again and see what happens. Hopefully, this is some quality power car. You know, this is important for it. <laughs> Well, we'll see if we're cutting all the way through. I don't know what depth you went past the surface, so. Great. Looks pretty awesome. Cool. Looks good. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, maybe that will be too. Yeah, it should be plenty strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, to survive my camping ropes aside. No, it's not surviving the camping ropes, it's surviving my crap bag. Yeah. Cool. So, on the wood shop, there's actually a lot of interest. It's our biggest shop that we've got. And back here, there's all kinds of things going on on a normal day. Um, we've had a lot of members make some really cool projects. There's a topographic map of Wisconsin. Um, we got a nice table saw and a lot of other saws, sanders, planers, joiners, band saws, all sorts of good stuff and fun toys. There's also a 4x8 CNC panel router that we use for a lot of larger projects and then some other smaller routers as well that we can get a lot of work done on. Our shop kind of sneaks around, there's little rooms off uh, the center core here. And then otherwise, uh, there's a laser cutter, we've got a pretty large machine um, that we actually shared in buying with uh, i3 Detroit, the hackerspace in Detroit. Um, this machine served us really well. We've run a ton of parts through it. It's been a lot of fun to see people come up with cool ideas and cool projects. Um, this one's kind of fun. It's a prototype of an iris window for a treehouse. So one of our members ended up making a four foot diameter giant version of this thing. And so his kids can move the handle and open it up and close it up uh, whenever they want sunlight in their treehouse. So that's a pretty neat way of being able to control that. Otherwise, people cut out leather, fabrics, textiles, paper, all kinds of cool stuff. So a lot of interesting projects because it's a quick, easy tool to use. Um, kind of hanging up from the ceiling here, there's a Power Wheels race car. Uh, we were the three-time reigning world champions in kids' electric vehicle racing about three years back. Uh, we gave up on that, worked on some larger electric vehicle projects uh, in the interim time. And then otherwise, we've got some high altitude balloons up here. That's the space shuttle, the Apollo capsule. Uh, those we send way up in the air and get some really cool videos from them, uh, so they're kind of hanging up uh, for that. There's a computer lab back here, so the computer lab we use as a classroom space as well as as an electronics lab. So we've got electrical tools and equipment all around the room here. Um, and then stepping through this space, we end up in a small conference room that gets used as project workspace. Like right now, these are some gear systems that are going to a science museum that's just getting started in Madison. So we're working on getting those completed. And then kind of all around this room, there's spare parts, pieces for projects. Uh, there's a library of all sorts of technical books and otherwise. And then we've got uh, member bins for storage.
Can I ask what you're working on? Uh, sure. So we're doing a startup uh, on fitness wearables. So you do is you wear two of these on your wrists or some on your forearm, and it would track uh, the different workouts you're doing and tell you ways to improve. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, back this way we've got a machine shop. So in our machine shop we've got some traditional Bridgeport style CNC mills. Um, this is a iron worker, it's a lathe, some engraving machines, uh, CNC lathe, all the usual toys for a basic shop. We've got some band saws and some other odds and ends for coming metal parts. Alright, so what are you working on? Um, this is going to be, um, when you put them together, I gotta mill a bunch of parts yet, but I'm gonna drill a hole after I push these together, they'll push together. There'll be a hole right in the middle here. I'll be able to make rivets, old time rivets. Uh, so I'm making a, uh, uh, I wanna be able to fabricate stuff that looks like uh, old bridges, but I wanna make furniture that looks like that. So a fair amount of uh, riveting. <laughs> uh, we can loop back out this way. So out this way there's a kitchen space that gets used a lot for whenever you want to bring people together you make food and that tends to draw people in so it's always fun. We do a lot of events around food science and otherwise. And then kind of back out in the main shop we've made a big circle all the way around this space. Uh, you can see we've got a large 10 person bicycle that we've built. Um, there's some projects up on the ceiling, some bicycles all over the place and a lot of just general workspace. Um, up this way, there's a predator costume that one of our members made by hand. It took him like five years to put it all together, so it's been a fun labor of love on his end. Um, and that's kind of Sector 67 in a nutshell. Uh, we've got a lot of different projects here and a lot of different materials and resources and things that our members use and lots of cool projects people build. So thanks for coming and hope to see you here sometime. We do tours every Friday in the shop.